टाटा मोटर्स की गाड़ियों को यू ही नहीं कहते सबसे मजबूत ट्रक देश के ट्रक पूरे देश में रोड पर टाटा के ट्रक दिख जाते हैं जब हम इनके मैन्युफैक्चरिंग की बात करते हैं तो मुख्य रूप से पांच सिटी में इनके मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्लांट हैं, जिसमें जमशेदपुर को मदर प्लांट के नाम से जाना जाता है इसके अलावा पुणे लखनऊ पंत नगर और धारवाड़ में मुख्य उत्पादन इकाइया है आइए दोस्तों आज जानते हैं टाटा मोटर्स के लखनऊ प्लांट के बारे में जिसमे नाइनटीन से प्रोडक्शन स्टार्ट होता है और ये छह एकड़ में फैला हुआ है लगभग साढ़े पाँच हजार लोग यहाँ काम करते हैं इस प्लांट की एक और खास बात ये है कि यहाँ डेली 300 सौ ट्रक्स एंड बसेज बनाए जाते हैं जो कि अपने आप में काफी बड़ा नंबर है यहाँ आई एल सी वी ट्रक हैवी ट्रक्स में टिपर एंड ट्रैक्टर ट्रेलर बनाए जाते हैं इसके अलावा सी एन जी बस इलेक्ट्रिक बस और लो फ्लोर बस भी बनाई जाती है ट्रक मैन्युफेक्चरिंग की प्रक्रिया को यहाँ पर कुछ पार्ट में डिवाइड किया गया है जैसे की वेल्ड सो पेंट सो केबिन ट्रिम लाइन और असेंबली लाइन वेल्ड सो पे केबिन के इंडिविजुअल एलिमेंट को जोड़ के केबिन का सेल बनाया जाता है वहाँ से ये पेंट सोप चला जाता है जहाँ अलग अलग तरह की कई कोटिंग की जाती है केबिन पे ताकि उस पर जंग ना लगे और मेटल पार्ट्स की लाइफ बट जाए फुली पेंटेड केबिन फिर आ जाता है ट्रिम लाइन पे जहाँ उसके अंदर और बाहर के सारे पार्ट्स जोड़ दिए जाते हैं और ऐसे बन के तैयार होता है आपका केबिन यहाँ से बना हुआ ट्रक जाता है डायनेमो सेक्शन जहाँ पूरी पावर ट्रेन की टेस्टिंग होती है उसके बाद शोर टेस्ट होता है जिसमें केबिन में किसी तरीके की लीकेज को टेस्ट किया जाता है और यहाँ से पास हुई गाड़ियों पे टेस्टेड का टैग लगा के भेज दी जाती है देश भर के शोरों में जहाँ से आप इन्हें खरीदते हैं आइए दोस्तों अब जानते हैं डिटेल से सारी बातें लखनऊ प्लांट हेड से नमस्कार दोस्तों ट्रक्स बसेस डॉट कॉम पे आपका स्वागत है हम आए हुए हैं टाटा मोटर्स के लखनऊ प्लांट जहाँ पे बहुत सारे टाइप्स के ट्रक्स एंड बसेस की मैन्युफैक्चरिंग होती है बहुत बड़ा एक प्लांट है लगभग 600 एकड़ में फैला हुआ है लगभग साढ़े पाँच हज़ार लोग यहाँ पे काम करते हैं तो हमारे मन में भी कुछ सवाल थे और हमारे सवालों का जवाब देने के लिए हमारे पास मौजूद हैं लखनऊ प्लांट के प्लांट हेड मिस्टर महेश सुगरू हेलो सर हेलो वेलकम टू ट्रक्स बसेस वेलकम सर टाटा मोटर्स लखनऊ सर तो हम ये जानना चाहते थे कि सर जब ट्रक्स एंड बसेस की हम बात करते हैं तो चैसी इज एन इंटीग्रल पार्ट ऑफ द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेस जब हम डीजल सीएनजी या ईवीज की बात करते हैं सो हाउ इज द चैसी बिल्डिंग प्रोसेस डिफरेंट इन दैट केस लेट्स सी द कंपैरिजन बिटवीन सीएनजी एंड डीजल ओके बोथ इफ यू सी फिजिकली बोथ लुक अलाइक द फ्यूल सिस्टम इज डीजल and here the fuel system cng is cng the there we have a fuel tank it is fuel tank is replaced by cng cylinders how about the evs so uh, in uh, while constructing uh, they follow the different sequence of manufacturing process both cng and uh, ev on the same line coming to ev it's totally different the ev the architecture If you ask me, it's divided between between high voltage system and low voltage system. Even though for rolling out we use a chassis manufacturing system because they are common system. For example, it has suspension, wheels and wheels and wheel rims, steering system. All these are common. But when it's com- uh, coming to power train. Engine is totally replaced by motors, and it is replaced by inverters. It is replaced by energy source called battery. That is actually the fuel. So, when these modules go in a certain fashion to the body builder, after body is made, entire vehicle ar- architecture is built, where LV and HV. system are integrated and all the systems vehicle communication systems vehicle steering systems all these are tested on rbt wheel alignment machines and finally they are road tested when it comes to the chassis part the foundation part is it same or is, it, is there any it's difference? totally different it may look similar but design it is totally different there is still a long member or it has a long member and cross member but since the requirements are different load distribution is different and configuration mounting positions are different so chassis are modified to suit the architecture of those uh uh, uh, uh those uh, architectures okay. 
रीडिजाइन टू टेक केयर ऑफ दो हमने टाटा मोटर्स के बारे में बहुत सुना है कि एम्प्लॉयज का पूरा पूरा ख्याल रखा जाता है एम्प्लॉय वेलफेयर स्टेक होल्डर वेलफेयर इज वेरी वेल टेकन केयर ऑफ इफ यू कैन शेयर अ फ्यू थिंग्स फ्यू प्रैक्टिस और इनिशियटिव दैट आर बींग फॉलोड इन लखनऊ प्लांट टाटा मोटर्स प्राइमरली इज कंसर्न अबाउट देयर वेलफेयर वेल बींग एंड वी वॉन्ट दैम टू बी वेरी एफिशियंट वी ऑल्सो वॉन्ट टू सी दैट द सोशल एक्टिविटीज आर सोशल नीड्स आर ऑल टेकन केयर so we want to be as a one family we want to them to be very engaged workforce so we we created some societies through which we engage them apart from taking care of their work they will be socially engaged we encourage them to donate the bulk a blood so voluntary blood donation society and also in health we also encourage them to participate during the uh, through the societies in covid time it has helped us in a lot we also through this society we had created a vaccination van which is inaugurated by the government of government of uttar pradesh this vaccination van went to very remote places where the doctors are unable to reach them this vaccination van has facilitated them to reach the men vaccinated them and we also created samas vikas uh, societies where people are up skill given some set of skills so that they can self employ themselves based on their skill sets likewise there are some other societies we created through them we are engaging their children we are also encouraging the the children to for future educational needs to take care of the future education needs and we are also seeing them how the children are benefited for higher education we are seeing that they are given inputs through the societies this so that the children are getting the best advice for building their careers so these societies have become a backbone for not only white collar employees and also blue collar employees blue collar also so safety of the employees and well being of the family both are being taken care of safety health other various needs like what i said even children are encouraged to participate in various cultural activities competitive activities and also we are giving them the advices so that they can build their careers choose their careers in the way in the field they want dosto plant mein ghumte hue humne ek bahut achhi line kahin pe likhi hui dekhi ki human values come first human life comes first business and profits come thereafter to jo tata ki jo values batate hain wo hame bakhoobi yahan pe dekhte hue if you can share a little bit about ev manufacturing here sir in lucknow yeah whatever the value system is uh, echoed by our leadership primarily the current chairman so every employee we want every day to come safely and go home safely we are working on zero harm concept so not only white color blue color even the contractual employees should come with honor go with honor so we create facilities so that they enjoy the common facilities what our white color and blue color employees enjoy so that contractors also we see them at par so we have created canteen facilities in the contractors share the same canteen facilities like white color and blue color that is point number 1 second is you said on ev ev we don't see as a ev as a product line we are seeing the entire ev as on on a sustainability platform so sustainability is a future where strategies are built because technologies are going to change as we are bounded by gop 27 regulation uh, requirements government of india has also announced that by 2030 the 500 
<coughs> gigawatts of energy will be on renewable energy. So as a Tata Motors, we are working on three core things. One is how this plant will be on 100% RE100. Second, how we are using our product so that it's recycled. Every part is recycled, reused. And also how we are building, not only in the plants, outside, how we are engaging in societies <coughs> in biodiversity. So it's not the product. The every act we do, we are seeing through the lens of sustainability. So in future, we are not only bring, going to build <coughs> the technologies, vehicles or products which will be on zero fossil fuels. So it is our commitment by 2045, we will be producing 100% of the vehicles without fossil fuels. From this plant? Maybe from this plant, from other plants. But this plant is leading in the sense this plant is producing EV vehicles. EV vehicles of buses and we have created a facilities not only for buses, we can also manufacture light commercial vehicles and heavy commercial vehicles, EV vehicles in future. In buses, we have rolled out 4 by 2 platform, the 12 meters length. Ji. In future, we are going to roll out 9 by 9 platform, which is 9 meter length buses. Okay. And also 9 by 12 platform vehicles with 12 meters length, but flow height is 900 mm. Flow height is 900 mm. So this, you currently, presently we are producing this. In future, we are also going to see on trucks, we are going to produce more EV vehicles here. So we have created for this future current needs and future needs. We are dedicated EV line in Lucknow. Okay. Not only our chasing line rollout, we are also enhancing the facilities of Marco Polo. Now currently it is named as Tata Motors Bus Body Solutions Limited. Okay. So their capacity is also be ramped up so that in future needs are met by Lucknow plant team. So on sustainable platform, this plant not only produces EV, but also going to produce fuel cell vehicles. Okay. From that, we are also working on hydrogen internal combustion engines. You might have noted, Tata Motors have, uh, is engaged with humans in developing hydrogen ice engines. Okay. So, the Lucknow plant is in forefront in driving these technologies. So, friends, whether it's diesel, whether it's CNG, whether it's EV, now we know that hybrid is going to be made from here. Thank you so much for your precious time, sir. It was a pleasure meeting you. Guys, we had a good time at Lucknow, Tata Motors plant. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for your time. 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 Thank you so much